it's got to drive him nuts that the United States has put all this attention and effort into um, Iraq, which, you know, had no weapons of mass destruction, is now looking into Iran, which doesn't really even have the, the capability yet. Kim jong Il just must be like, why? Why do they keep ignoring it? Well, I think, look, why don't they pay any attention? I think there are women all over this country, Jill. Uh, who are uh, totally identifying with uh, uh, Kim Jong-un. Totally. They're just stamping their feet up and down and, and begging for somebody to pay attention. And that's actually a large, that's a serious diplomatic point that, uh, that many think he's making. Not sure we emphasize it enough. Just think about it for a second. North Korea, for the last uh, six years that Bush uh, has been in power, has been saying, hey, we're going to develop nuclear weapons. I'm serious. We're not playing. We're going to develop them. We're developing them. We've gone through stage one, stage two, and they've gone through all these different stages. And finally, they said, not only do we have them, here, we'll shove it in your face, and we'll test them. And, you know, to Jill's point, they've got to be thinking, I thought this whole thing was about weapons of mass destruction. Why won't they pay any attention to us? And, of course, the reason they want us to pay attention to them is not so that we invade them, but so that we strike a deal with them. Mm -hmm. And we say, hey, we'll give you X amount of money. If you stop that, if you or we'll give you a certain amount of energy or food or whatever it is, or probably a combination of all those things, so that you stop your nuclear weapons program. And by the way, not that North Korea is actually going to use it on South Korea, although, you know, if any country was crazy enough, it would probably be North Korea, but that they might also sell it to Al Qaeda or some other terrorist that's, group. That's yeah. the real threat, right? I mean, and especially if they don't get money from us, they're going to say, well, we need the money from someplace. We're starving. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's also true. And plus, uh, it's money for me. And so I'll, I'm, I'll sell it. And, you know, America, they, don't, they won't even talk to me. So what do I care what America thinks? Right. So all, all these things are possible. Meanwhile, Bush has completely ignored them. 100%. While pretending to care about the weapons of mass destruction they were building, and Iraq never had, and Iran still doesn't have, and can't have for another five or ten years. So when they say weapons of mass destruction, this is proof positive that they're 100% lying. They don't give a damn. It's never been about the weapons of mass destruction. Now, you could, other people have different, global domination, oil, Israel, whatever. People have different reasons why they care about Iraq and Iran and not places like North Korea. I happen to think that it's mainly the oil, and, and but whatever it is, it's definitely not the weapons of mass destruction.